Welcome and bem-vindo a Portugal, a Lisboa, and welcome to Cabo da Roca. I made this with my bike. What is Cabo da Roca? Cape Rock. Well, that's down there. That's the most western point of continental Europe. On the western edge of Portugal. This is the lighthouse up there. Actually, I cycled this morning from Lisbon, 50 k's to this beautiful place. And I did some filming, but uh, unfortunately, the footage is not any good because I had headwind like unbelievable. So today we're gonna turn things around. First, I show you the destination, which is Cabo da Roca. And I showcase you all the way back to Lisbon, the best points from Cascais to Estoril, all the way down to the N6, into the heart of Lisbon. But first, let's go over there and see what they have in that souvenir shop. Maybe I get a coffee. I have nothing to drink yet, no food. So time to put something in my body. You see now the coast, that's where we're heading down. Go down to the restaurant. We even got the bar here, which is good news. Here we go. Well, sun is coming out. Well guys, let's go back to Lisbon. Join me. Yeah, in Lisbon it's hot, uh, over 30 degrees here. Barely 20. So when you come over here, take a jacket with you. It's a bit on the nippy side with the wind. In Lisbon you got plenty of opportunities to rent a bike. I got my one from a company called Bike Rentals Lisbon, as you do. This is the bike rental shop. Lisbon Bike Rentals, Eduardo. And uh, they have only Canyon bikes. All models, uh, very good stuff. 50 euros a day, that's what you have to calculate. Now it ramps up a bit. I made it up, you see Cabo da Roca. This is the turning point. To the right, Cascais, that's where we're heading. To the left, up to Sintra, over the mountains. Uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. So it's about five, six kilometers downhill for us now. You can see Cabo da Roca, Farol da Roca, that's the lighthouse. guys lovely ride along the coast here now we're in Cascais playground for the rich and famous now let's have a quick look at the Marina de Cascais A lovely place here. You can go shopping, dining, everything is here. Very nice. They even hosted uh, America's Cup here. So this is uh, in the old days the nobility of, po of Portugal came over here to Cascais to be seen and in these days it's the uh, rich and famous or the wannabes. They come here, show their Porsches, Big Mercedes-Benz, 
and some show the canyon bikes. Check this out. Now this is a one-way street so I can show you the more of this lovely harbor here. I think it's 23, 24 degrees. Better than the last two days. Actually, 35 in Lisbon, the heat wave. Imagine end of April. And I think neighboring Spain, they suffered with temperatures already 40 degrees in Sevilla, Cordoba, Granada. Chaps, now we are at the Ciradella de Cascais, the fall of this town. I'm sure many people fought many wars to have this prime spot. Now just around the corner we come right in the center. Over there you can see Estoril, we're gonna stop there as well. Full of tourists, obviously a lot of people when they are coming for a long weekend to Lisbon, they pop over here, it's not far. 25 kilometers. Well, chaps, a quick stop here at the Casino Estoril. Estoril is famous for this casino for Formula One until 1997. MotoGP, the, the mind behind James Bond, Ian Fleming, he got inspired by this particular casino. That's when he decided to write the book, Casino Royale, and it was a, a big hit worldwide. James Bond, here we go. All right, chaps, now we're heading back, direction to Lisbon on the N6, and I speak to you over there. guys back in town back in Lisbon hope you enjoyed this little ride out to Cabo da Roca Cape Rock most western point of continental Europe thanks for watching this video see you in the next one meanwhile don't forget keep on pedaling and see you somewhere on the road bye bye cheerio and greetings from the capital of Portugal Lisbon This is the Heritage Hotel, lovely place in the Avenida Libertad.